Hi YouTube, Tim Hucker here. In this video we're going to install Sublime Text on a Chromebook in 2024. The first thing we need to do is go down here to the launcher. We're going to click on the launcher and we want to find our settings. So we'll type in settings and click on settings here. On the left hand side you'll have a bunch of options here. You're going to go down to about Chrome OS. Click on that and you have this Linux development environment down here at the bottom. You want to click setup that's going to give you a setup wizard and we can start to set it up. You're going to click next. It's going to give you a username, which I believe is based off your email and a recommended disk size. I would change the username at this point. The disk size can be changed at a later point. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead. I'm going to keep with the defaults. We're going to go ahead and click install. This is going to take a few minutes to go ahead and install. So I'll come on back once that's done. Okay. Once Linux is installed, a terminal will pop up. You can close out the settings at this point. I'm just going to maximize this and we want to make sure everything's up to date. Let me get this a little bit larger for you. So to make sure everything's up to date, we can type in sudo apt update and then two ampersands and then sudo apt upgrade and do a dash Y flag uh, just to answer yes to any additional storage. This is going to take a moment or two to run on through. I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, once that's run through, we can close out the terminal here and let's open up a browser and we're going to search for sublimetext.com or we'll just go to sublimetext.com or you can search for sublime text. Uh, once that web page shows up, you can click on download and you want to go right where it says Linux repos, direct downloads, click on that. Uh, I have an AMD Chromebook, so I'm going to click this 64 bit.deb. So we'll download that. Okay, once it downloads, uh, I'm going to click show in folder or just go to my downloads folder where it's at. And you want to right click on the file and click install with Linux. It's going to go out and reach out some information. I'm going to click install and then OK. And I'm going to go let that install. Okay, once that's gone ahead and installed, we can scroll on down to our Linux apps down here. And we see we have Sublime Text. I'll just pin that to the shelf here and we can click on that and Sublime Text will open up and we can maximize it here and begin working in Sublime Text. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.